Hello viewers, welcome to our comprehensive video on the latest updates, on the UK dependent visa for 2024. In this video, we will delve into the significant changes, and implications for the UK dependent visa in 2024. We will cover topics such as the increase in the minimum salary threshold, the impact on international students, changes to the immigration health surcharge, and the process of transitioning from a Tier 2 visa, to indefinite leave to remain, ILR. So, whether you're a skilled worker, a health and care worker, or a dependent of any of those, then this video is for you. So make sure you watch till the end of the video, so you do not miss out on this very vital information. For those new to the family, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, let's get into it. Part 1, Changes to the Minimum Salary Threshold The UK government has announced significant changes to the minimum salary threshold, for sponsoring spouse-slash-partner visas, set to take effect in 2024. These changes will impact both new applicants, and those already in the UK who wish to renew their visas. 1.1. Current Minimum Salary Threshold As of now, the minimum income requirement for a UK spouse visa is £18,600 per year. This means that the UK-based partner, must have a minimum gross annual income of this amount, for the visa to be granted. 1.2. Changes in 2024 the changes announced for 2024 will see a substantial increase in the minimum salary threshold. The minimum income requirement for a UK spouse visa, is expected to rise to £29,000 in spring 2024. This will be followed by further increases, with the threshold expected to reach £38,700 by early 2025. 1.3. Impact of the changes. The increase in the minimum salary threshold is a significant change from the previous requirement, and will affect a large number of people. According to the Migration Observatory, just under 70% of British employees working in the UK, earned less than the new income threshold in 2023. This suggests that the changes could potentially make it more difficult for many individuals to meet the new requirements, particularly those in lower income brackets. The changes will affect both new applicants, and those already in the UK who wish to renew their visas. Those already in the UK on a different route who apply to switch into the five-year partner route, after the minimum income requirement has been increased, will be subject to the new income requirement. It's important for individuals affected by these changes to stay informed and plan accordingly. The exact timeline for the incremental increases beyond £29,000 has not been confirmed yet, adding an element of uncertainty to the process. Part 2. Impact on International Students From January 2024, the UK government is set to implement a pivotal change to the student visa rules, that will significantly affect international students. Under the new regulations, international students will no longer have the automatic right to bring dependents to the UK, unless they are enrolled in a postgraduate research program. This change is expected to have a considerable impact on international students, who plan to study in the UK, particularly those who wish to bring their partners, or children with them. 2.1. Understanding the new regulations. The new rules stipulate that only those pursuing PhDs, or research-based higher degrees will be allowed to bring dependents. This means that a large number of international students, especially those enrolled in undergraduate or taught postgraduate courses, will face restrictions that could alter their plans for studying in the UK. 2.2. Consequences for Family Planning For many international students, the ability to bring family members to the UK, is a crucial factor in their decision to study abroad. The new policy could discourage potential students from choosing the UK as their destination, as it may not be feasible for them to be separated from their loved ones, for the duration of their course. 2.3. Impact on University Admissions and Course Selection The changes are likely to influence university admissions, and the selection of courses by international students. Universities may see a shift in the demographics of their international student body, with a possible increase in the number of postgraduate research applicants who are still able to bring dependents. 2.4. Financial Implications The restriction on dependence also has financial implications for students. Without the ability to bring family members, students may save on living costs, but will also lose the potential support system that comes with having family nearby. Additionally, the emotional toll of family separation must be considered. 2.5. The Role of UK Universities UK universities can support affected applicants by providing clear information about the changes, and offering guidance on alternative options for family accommodation and support. They can also advocate for the value that international students bring to their institutions, and the wider community. 2.6. Looking ahead. 
While the government intends to implement these changes, consultation with the education sector is expected to follow. It is important for students and universities to stay informed about any updates or potential reviews of these new rules. The restriction on international student dependence marks a significant shift in the UK's approach to student immigration. It is essential for prospective students to understand these changes and for universities to assist them in navigating this new landscape. The impact of these changes will unfold over time, and it is crucial for all stakeholders to monitor the situation closely and adapt accordingly. Part 3: Changes to the Immigration Health Surcharge. The UK government has announced a significant increase in the Immigration Health Surcharge (IHS) which is set to take effect from January 16, 2024. The IHS is a fee paid by most visa applicants, which allows them access to the National Health Service (NHS) in the UK. 3.1. Current Immigration Health Surcharge. Currently, the standard IHS fee for applicants over the age of 18 is £624 per year. For dependent children under the age of 18, Students and their dependents and youth mobility scheme applicants the fee is 470 pounds per year. 3.2 changes in 2024. The changes announced for 2024 will see a substantial increase in the IHS. The standard fee for most applicants will rise from 624 pounds to 1035 pounds per year. For students and their dependents, youth mobility scheme applicants and children under the age of 18 The fee will increase from 470 pounds to 776 pounds per year. 3.3 Impact of the changes. The increase in the IHS represents a significant 66% rise. This will have a direct impact on all visa applicants who will need to fund the increased IHS costs up front at the time of their visa application. For example, a family of 4 applying for a 5-year visa, 2 adults and 2 children will now face an IHS cost of £18,110, increased from £10,920. However, certain categories of migrants, such as those applying for the health and care visa, will continue to be exempt from paying the IHS. If you are eligible for the health and care visa, you and your dependents will automatically be exempt from paying the IHS. The increase in the IHS is part of the government's efforts to ensure that migrants contribute to the cost of health care in the UK. However, it's important to note that the increase could potentially make it more difficult for many individuals to afford the costs associated with visa applications, particularly those in lower income brackets. Part 4: Transitioning from a Tier 2 visa to indefinite leave to remain. The transition from a Tier 2 visa to indefinite leave to remain (ILR) in the UK involves a series of requirements and procedures. However, changes to the UK immigration rules set to take effect in 2024 will significantly impact this process particularly with regards to the minimum salary threshold 4.1 understanding the current process currently to transition from a tier 2 visa to ILR an individual must have spent at least 5 continuous years in the UK this qualifying period usually starts from the date of the approval of the entry clearance the individual must also meet several other requirements including not having been absent from the UK for more than 180 days in any 12 month period during those 5 years 4.2 changes in 2024 the changes in 2024 will see an increase in the minimum salary threshold for those wishing to apply for ILR this means that tier 2 visa holders who wish to transition to ILR will need to earn a higher salary to qualify the exact amount of the increase is yet to be confirmed but it is expected to be significant 4.3 impact on tier 2 visa holders this increase in the minimum salary threshold could make it more difficult for some tier 2 visa holders to qualify for ILR those who do not meet the new salary requirements may need to explore other visa options or potentially leave the UK 4.4 planning for the changes given these impending changes it's crucial for tier 2 visa holders to stay informed and plan accordingly this might involve seeking a higher salary exploring other visa options or considering other countries for long-term residence. It's also recommended to seek advice from immigration experts or legal advisors to understand the full implications of these changes and to plan the best course of action. Conclusion. The changes to the UK dependent visa in 2024 are significant and will have far-reaching implications for both visa applicants and their families. The increase in the minimum salary threshold and the immigration health surcharge as well as the changes affecting international students will affect many people's plans to live work and study in the UK not so fast though did you like the video 
Do you have friends and family that need to know about these details to make their move to the UK a success? Then make sure you share, share and share. Many of you only watch my videos, but haven't subscribed. Why not? Please subscribe today and turn on the notification button so that you be the first to be notified when I drop more of this content. Otherwise, have a good end of the year. Shalom.